In this presentation we're going to look at how to compute the arithmetic mean, also we're going to look at the geometric mean and the harmonic mean, and finally we're going to look at the median. So I have a data set here, A, so I'm going to return that. There's quite a few numbers there, there's actually more that is, than is presented on screen. But anyway, we're going to compute the mean of A, and we get 6.3478. The function was very simple, uh, mean. But I'm going to show you a full specification of the arithmetic mean. So the data set again is A, and this time I'm going to explicitly identify that I want the arithmetic mean. Now the arithmetic mean is the default setting, so this this is sort of not really necessary. We get the exact same answer, but I just it just demonstrates that we can actually uh, are able to uh, specify other types of mean. So what we would do is change this argument here with either G or H. So we're going to first look at the geometric mean. So I have another data set here, B. Now B is 1.08, 1.05, 1.05 and so forth. This may be used to sort of identify the rate of growth, 8% increase in the first year, 5% increase in the second year, something like that. Now the appropriate choice of mean would be a geometric mean rather than an arithmetic mean. So to specify the geometric mean, we would actually use the additional argument G, G for geometric. And there we have it there. The answer is 1.1054. If I was to only specify the arithmetic mean, we actually get a slightly different number. Uh, it's slightly different really because of, really just because of the choice of numbers we used in this particular case. But you can see that they're actually different from each other. Not by much, but different. There we have it there. Lastly, we're going to look at the harmonic mean. And I have a third data set here, C, very simple data set here. And to specify the harmonic mean, I'm going to use the additional argument H. 1.1054. Now let's just see how much that differs from the arithmetic mean. Very Again, very close, but different. 0 0.10 in difference. Okay, now, finally we're going to look at the median. Now the median is a different measure of centrality that is quite useful in statistics. So the median, we're going to use me, the data set of A again. The median of A is 6. And uh, just compare that to the mean of A. And it's 6.3478. A discussion of the median would work very well in the context of quartiles, the interquartile range, and such statistics like that. But for the time being, I will leave it there.